These people heroically came to the rescue of others in 2020. Home surveillance camera shows a man desperately knocking on his neighbor's door for help. Billy Bass says he was home alone eating steak when he started to choke on a piece. I had to think quick and I couldn't speak. So my instinct was to go to my neighbor's. I was dying. I only had about 30 seconds left. You're joking? I looked at him when I opened the door. I knew something was wrong and I knew that I had to do something quickly. His neighbor, Karen Aranda, knew exactly what to do and helped him clear his airway. Did this come out? Yeah, it came out. It came out. Get water, bring water. Hey, hey. Call 911. No, no. No? I get ready to Bass was relieved and grateful for his quick acting neighbor. And Aranda says she even surprised herself. I can't even do a push up. So, where I got the strength from, I have no idea. You gotta get out the car. Some people could only watch in horror as an SUV slowly sank into the water in New Jersey. But others jumped in to help. One man beat them to it and was able to pull the driver out through the window. He's out, he's out. Look at these great heroes. This is the hero of the night, 29-year-old Anthony Capuano. He's a lifeguard, swim instructor, and he's an amputee. Anthony lost his leg about 12 years ago, but when he was working out at a nearby park and saw the accident happen, he knew he had to help. This is like a, a suction type of leg. Yeah. So literally, I would just like take it off, and then I just pulled it off, and I pulled off, uh, pulled it from my pants, and I just swam. When Anthony swam ashore with the SUV driver, people were waiting there to help him finish the job and to commend him for his bravery. This dude right here jumped in the water, y'all. Good job. Two young children and their grandmother were rescued from floodwaters by a man who was determined not to let them get swept away. Once we saw them, um, I knew I had to approach the situation and, and help them out. Mike Wilson and his family were returning from a camping trip when they encountered flooded roads and noticed a car stuck with people inside. Wilson kicked off his flip-flops and waded in, carrying the kids to his pickup truck one at a time, handing them off to his wife. Then he helped walk the grandmother through the strong current to safety. It was risky, but the Wilsons say they couldn't just leave the family there. A dad was trying to keep it together when he and his four kids got caught in their car in a flood. But some good Samaritans with a backhoe came to his rescue. Hold on to that kid. Hold on to the kid. We'll get you out. Don't worry. The helpers were able to grab one child while the dad got his other kids out of the car and onto the roof. One of the kids couldn't make it on top and hung on to the side of the car for dear life. Just like that, the rescuers were able to pull him onto the backhoe. One by one, each child joined them, and then Dad was safely out of the water. They all rode out of the flood to awaiting first responders in the basket of the backhoe. An unusual rescue vehicle, but an effective one. Oh my God. This couple's life together started off on the wrong foot when a wave swept them into the ocean while they were taking their wedding photos. A bystander in Laguna Beach caught the whole thing on video, but stopped recording to call 911 for help. A lifeguard came to the couple's rescue, first getting the groom close enough to shore so he could swim. Then the lifeguard went back for the bride, fighting through rough waves to get her, and then more waves as he tried to swim her to safety. Another lifeguard came to assist, and the couple was eventually reunited, thanks to these brave and strong swimmers. Get out! Jump! Two good Samaritans ran toward this flaming pickup truck as the driver tried to escape the wreck on a Florida highway. One of the men said he noticed many people witnessed the dangerous situation, but not many of them were trying to help. I looked to the left, and I looked to the right and I saw 20 people with their cell phones out, not doing nothing, and I said, it's all me. The driver was able to get most of his body out of the window when these two heroes ran to his aid to help him the rest of the way out, preventing a possible tragic outcome. Oh. A driver was shocked to see a car in flames on the side of a Massachusetts highway and knew he had to help. Harold Greer pulled over and his dash cam recorded the whole thing. When he arrived, another man was already pulling one person out of the burning car. I asked him if they needed any more help and he asked me to call 911. That's why I ran back to my Jeep. Then more people came to help, pulling a second person out of the car. Greer says it's a good thing people stopped to help 
because the driver of the car was so badly injured, he wouldn't have made it out of the crash on his own. Everybody just keeps driving by. I mean, he could have lost his life that day, burning him alive in a car. The dash cam also caught this touching moment of the injured driver thanking his rescuer. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.